KO Challenge is uprooting everything you thought you knew Gamara was. All right, so the KO Challenge is in the memory of a, of a Yeshiva alumni. He came to Shagashan Aleph with cancer and he went back for a routine checkup and unfortunately never made it back. A little bit later the next year, Caleb uh, passed away. Since Caleb passed away, we've been learning Ilui Nishmaso as yeshiva, and we grind and we keep on going for 10 days in honor of him. It's gonna sound kinda sappy, but it really pulls my heart. It, 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 I feel it, there's a physical, visceral feeling that I get when I see these boys doing this for Caleb, for my son, who, again, they don't even know. And it's really, it's, it's hard to explain in words, honestly, other than that. Why would that help me? Thank you, none of this. None of you guys know this. Why would that help me? It's just for you. The Caleb Challenge is a 10 day Chazara Gemara based experience. The way I like to put it is kids go from understanding Dapim to really knowing Dapim. I've done, I think, 39 Dapim. I've done around 40 Dapim. I was hoping to get 75 at the end of the night, and maybe I might even now even push for 80. I've done 85 Dapim so far. Not a lot, it's like 90. I've gone around 90 Daps. I have 10 more to go. Almost. 100 Dapim so far. I'm cur I currently just broke the 100 record. I think I'm at 102. I'll be at about 125, 27. Around 160 Dapim, but shooting for 200. I don't know if I'll make it, but we'll see what we can do. Honestly, no clue. I haven't been counting. More, more of the hours for me. Yeah. Uh, coming in, um, I heard before, um, like kids break 100. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. I'm never gonna be able to do that. That's totally out of my goal. The first day I sat down, I did some, I realized maybe this, you know, it's not too far-fetched. Um, I worked hard. I tried as hard as I could, as in base as long as I can. And it felt great when I finally hit that 100 mark. It's finally me able to like see like, yeah, it's not impossible. These people did it, but they're normal kids. I could do it too. The smile that you see in a person's face, a Talmud's face, when for the first time he knows a full death and he turns to you and he says, I know it cold ready. Whenever when an off guy approaches you to ask you to learn whether it's daf bez or daf chof, the goal should always be to sit down and go through with them time and time again until they know it. Until they know it, they don't leave. No matter how hard it is for me to get the daf, no matter how many times I ask him the same questions, whether Machlok has a Rav and Shmuel a thousand times, he'll be patient and uh, continue to work at the dot with me until I get it. The highlight of my Caleb challenge was spending two nights in the base when the lights came off. Lights came off at 2 a.m. and I was still in the base grinding with the Shana Bet. The hallway light has light, so you go as close as you can to the hallway or in the hallway, and me and a couple other kids um, did it until, you know, 210 or whatever it was until we finally got a dot from done. No phones, no water breaks, nothing except for straight Gemara. I know I could commit myself to learn for very long periods of time, and hopefully I'll be able to do that for the rest of the year. Caleb Challenge will 100% change the way I thought I learned Gemara, and it will change the way I learned Gemara for the rest of my life. It's just, it's a whole new system for me, and I just found Gemara in a whole new light. It helped me connect with the Gemara and want to learn more. I got excited to go into the base. I got excited to learn. I got excited to do as much as I can inside the Gemara and also in different commentaries outside of it. Before coming into this, I wasn't so good at Gemara and it was very hard and difficult at times and very discouraging. But throughout the whole experience, I think I've gotten a lot better hang of it. And now I'm going through it, I feel a lot more confident. And for sure, it's a big confidence booster after you can get the whole thing and just feel like, wow, like I really did it. I don't think that there's a time that you could step back aside to the Caleb Challenge and really realize the heights you could achieve. And the goal is that you take away something from this Caleb Challenge 
that that lights a fire inside of you that you now know that you're able to do it and there's no reason to stop. Why not push yourself in the Atlantis Rock, Caleb, to be the best you can be? Get that extra doff, get those extra two, get that extra tasa four. Do whatever you can in this last hour to make it the best hour of your life. Get those two sentences in, get those two lines in. That's all you need. Keep pushing yourself to the last minute. We have it until Is, is key. And I think that what they're doing for Caleb's Nishama and for all that, I, all I can really say is just thank you. Your learning should just continue to just carry you through the rest of this year, next year, and every time you pick up a safe air, you should just remember how you did it during this challenge and it should be with the same passion and excitement that you had these last 10 days.